Welcome back. Welcome to Willow Bonsai Shop and we are in the studio again today with another tree that we're going to be working on styling right the way through from before to finished product. Now today we've got this Juniperus chinensis in the studio today and we have got free reign on it from our customer to do what we need to do and to get it into the next phase of design. Now you will see that we have done this tree before, this came into the nursery from a collection and we then worked on the tree to get it healthy, it was in new soil mediums and we did a primary styling onto it as well just to make sure that the branches had enough light. Since then the wire has come off, it has developed a lot more foliage and it's doing much much better. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be making sure that the process continues and we get the second phase of styling done. We're going to be working through the tree, cleaning it all up, getting rid of all the dead foliage and then starting the new design process from there. So join us on this journey today and I hope you enjoy this episode. So let's get some of the history of this tree out of the way. Um, this tree was bought originally from a collection of Eddie van der Bestosen, who was one of the sort of initial people that was doing bonsai in South Africa quite a few years ago. Um, he has since passed and his son was looking after the trees and unfortunately didn't have enough time to work them properly. So we went in, got the whole collection and then started working the trees and getting them back up to previous standards. Now, what we did is we, from there, made sure that we got everything weed free. Um, we sprayed everything as it came into the nursery for pests, for diseases. So we put it into a quarantine area before it goes into the rest of our stock. Thereafter, we made sure that we got it into new growing mediums because the old growing medium was completely, completely um, finished. Uh, it was completely muddy, so there was not much nutrients left and the trees were visibly not healthy. So once that was done, it was left, they were managed to get going and we got them to a healthy state and then the design process started from there. So this one was one of the first ones that I started working on and it was one of our favorites to begin with because of the amount of character that it's got. It's got a little bit of a hollow, um, you know, good shari, some good gins that are going up, some really good character that we're going to work on today. So we will definitely be doing some of the deadwood work and yeah, this was a very, very nice tree. It came out very nice from the before pictures that we had. So I was very happy with the process, but now we've got another chance to work on it and take it to the next level.
There we go, done and dusted. So we've got this guy nicely styled up, all the wire has been applied, all the branches have been placed, and yeah, quite surprised to see how the tree came out. Not exactly how I envisioned it, there was a couple of surprises in amongst it, but yeah, came out pretty nicely, so I'm very happy. So just to go through the stuff that we've done and completed is the deadwood. You can see everywhere throughout we've lime sulfur the deadwood. First cleaned it with a toothbrush, a little bit of vinegar just to lift all the dirt and debris. Got the um, deadwood nicely cleaned up. All of the small pieces as well that are around the tree have all been lime sulfur just to um, make sure that they are nice and um, prepped for the elements and make it look good as well. We've done a little bit of work on the live vein of the tree as well, getting it up, making sure that it is nice and clean, and then remove the bark as well. Now, you can see from there, that's more or less about where the front is. We'll change a little bit as we go along. A couple of issues that we came along with was in two sections. Here, there was four branches coming out of one position that we removed two to get our bifurcation correct, and also to get our taper and movement correct from there. And then there was a further issue, which was this side where we had three branches protruding from the same section. So we got rid of those ones and changed the lines of the tree completely from the first styling that we've done. What we will do in future is this little section. Ah, boys. This section here, we've got a little bit of a bulge there. We'll be working on that soon. Um, doing some dead wood work there and reducing it like that. So I'm not too worried about it at the moment, but that will be done in the future. But yeah, that's pretty much it. This guy will be going into our greenhouse section just to recuperate from the styling. We'll be making sure that it gets good fertilizer and good water for the next week or so, and then it will be given back to the plant. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this episode. Next one will probably be one of our Shimpaku junipers that we'll be working on, so stay tuned for that one.